Hi friends, welcome to my channel Civil Guru 04. Today I have question from my LinkedIn connection, uh, Sayyid Shibli Swell. He asked me that how to draw lines using bearings and distance in AutoCAD Civil 3D. So it's the most important topic when we are as a CAD man, draftsman working in uh, any company or as a freelancer some clients give us uh, PDF plans or images which they have already and we need to draw them in AutoCAD but which thing will be first we need to draw them a boundary for their land which we show usually show in the bearing and distance so if we uh, don't know about this method that how to draw bearing and uh, uh, distance for line in AutoCAD Civil 3D we can't draw we can't get perfect boundary for them so in this tutorial we will discuss about this method using AutoCAD Civil 3D so if you are new on my YouTube channel kindly subscribe and uh, you can also access me through my facebook page land developer and architect designer you can also share your issues about land surveying and civil 3d you can get here some pdf box materials about them so let's start our tutorial Open your AutoCAD Civil 3D and uh, you see I have uh, boundary walls with bearing and a distance. I have not direction here. So we want to draw them in AutoCAD Civil 3D. I will explain you something then you can practice them on your site plans. So. For line we use line command you know also but in AutoCAD Civil 3D when you see on the home tab you can get here line if you will drop down you can get here create line by bearing it's a very important command if you will stay on this command it will show you the method how to draw your lines so we will click here and anywhere you can click on drawing area when you will click it will show you four quadrant of bearing first second third and four so in your plan you must have bearing should be quadrantal bearing you can convert them from whole circle bearing to quadrantal bearing if you don't know write me in comment I will explain you that what is the quadrantal bearing and which is whole circle bearing so I will start from this line you can see here we have this line in north west quadrant so I need to select first north west quadrant quadrant north west quadrant we have here so just right click here it will select four quadrant north west quadrant for you now you need to draw uh, give bearing you can see here it is, is asking for bearing so we can see we have north 12 and 20 minute west 12 degree for degree you need to write D and then for minute you need to write colon if we have second you can use double then press enter so we get our direction with the required pairing for our line now we need to put the distance which we have 122.33 feet 
so it is asking for distance we can give them distance 122.33 feet when you will give distance it will draw your line according to bearing and distance then convert then shift this coordinate on your next corner of the line before we was here now we are here because we are going through like that so for the next line we have coordinate se se coordinate we have here it is the second coordinate so click it will select second coordinate for you then give your bearing 87 degree and 47 minute 87 degree and 47 minute then press enter and now you need to give the distance 143.56 143.56 feet press enter you can see let's draw our two lines according to our bearings now now we have third line which is also second quadrant s e south east so we are going to select second quadrant and then give your bearing 2 degree and 17 minute 2 degree and 17 minute now give your distance of line 98.75 98.75 feet so it's draw our line We have our last line in southwest corner. Southwest corner we have third quadrant and bearing is 82 degree 49 minute. Enter and now give your distance 122.22, 122.22 feet. You can see we have complete our boundary line using AutoCAD Civil 3D bearing and distance method. So press escape, then press escape. You can see we get our boundary line. Now we can draw anything here about floor plans or landscaping for any clients to give them plans according to his requirement so with this method you can get many more in line command in AutoCAD Civil 3D which is very very important and very very useful for you during drawing anything about angle bearings azimuth deflection and so on hope you like this video if you have any question about this method or any other in AutoCAD Civil 3D kindly write down in comment box I will explain that for you thank you goodbye